Hello, my friends. I go to a lot of uh, conferences on consciousness and mind body and integrated well being. And to my astonishment, um, no one that I've met, except maybe one or two people, have a clear definition of either consciousness, same thing as awareness, or mind, or body and also the nature of the physical world other than the classic um, scientific materialism. So I'd like to share with you uh, some definitions first and then show you how you have never left home. So um, the definition of consciousness, awareness, it is that it is the source of all experience, simplest definition, <clears throat> source of all experience in every sentient being. Once again, source of all experience in every sentient being, including the experience of the body mind of that sentient being. Let's call the sentient being a conscious agent. So that's the definition of consciousness or awareness mind okay so most people if you ask them where's the mind they point here which is a partial truth the closest and best definition i've come for the mind is derived from the work of neuropsychiatrist uh, dan siegel and here it is the mind is an embodied and relational process that regulates the flow of energy and information in, and I'm modifying it a little bit maybe, the mind is an embodied and relational process that regulates the flow of energy and information in an ecosystem of sentient beings. And then the body and the physical world. The body and the physical world are human names for a constantly changing perceptual activity in a conscious agent so there you are okay now when you understand these definitions then it's obvious that consciousness awareness is the common ground of experience in all species all modes of knowing all knowers all things known so um, this brings up a very important question is of course we know that we have self-awareness um, uh, how about other uh, species how about other biological organisms here are some very interesting facts chimpanzees for example have been shown to recognize themselves in mirrors which is considered to be a strong indicator of self-awareness Dolphins have been shown to have a complex social structure and to be able to communicate with each other using a variety of vocalization speech. Elephants have been shown to have a strong sense of self and to be able to grieve at the loss of loved ones. And here's very interesting. Bacteria have been shown to be able to communicate with each other and to coordinate their behavior in ways that suggest some level of awareness. And then plants have been shown to be able to respond to their environment in ways that suggest some level of awareness, such as by turning their leaves toward the sun. Okay, now we have it. What about space-time? Are they fundamental realities? Science today suggests that they are, that the theater of space-time and causality is fundamental. Classical science, Newtonian science suggests that even quantum science kind of is saddling that uh, idea that, you know, the equations of quantum mechanics do not actually refer to space-time. Uh, only gravity um, cr creates the experience of space-time. But here's my query to you. Do you not experience space-time in the same way as you experience a body or a perceptual object or a watch or anything? So space-time are not fundamental, notwithstanding what the scientific view might be. 
how do you know you're in space time? Because you experience it. And who is the you that's experiencing it? Not the body mind, because the body mind is an experience in space time, as is space time and causality and experience in non local awareness. So, given all this evidence, awareness, consciousness is universal. It transcends space time. It is without cause, irreducible, infinite, fundamental, shapeless, without borders. And it is you. You are the awareness in which the whole universe is recycling and evolving as your sensations, images, feelings, and thoughts. And when we give constructs to them, then we create the idea of mind, body, brain, and the universe. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.